Jake and Coop Chronicles, the Baby Chicks Edition. They got out. Look at that. They got out of the tractor that I have for them. All but one and the mommy. Well, thank goodness she didn't get out. Oh, and I see one just crawled right back in. I guess they scraped away the dirt from the sides. Now two crawled in. There's three inside, and there should be eight outside. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to guess there's two over there. All right, so should be all right, but uh, these little miscreants. These little troublemakers. Come on, you lot. Go back in. It's okay. Go on. Go back. Go back inside. Be with Mommy. I know the world's a lot smaller than the one she initially showed you. But uh, it'll get bigger, don't worry. Just as you do. Go on in. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. And there must be one more. Look at those cuties. And the mama's so cute, too. important for me to sit in here with them for a while. One, because I like to. Two, because I've got plenty of other very important things to do and this is a great way to procrastinate. And three, because they need to get used to me. They kind of have to learn who I am. I'm not afraid of them. They're not afraid of me. Right now they are. They need to get over that. And I mean the chickens need to have a healthy respect, of course, especially the roosters. But these little guys, they just need to know not to run away. So, we'll get over that. Anywho, Chicken Goop Chronicles, my truant hen has 11 chickens, 11 chicks, who are fastly becoming truants in their own right. So I'm going to have to get them all back inside, because she's, she's not very happy that, that some of them are outside and she's stuck inside. So. That's what it is. Chicken Coop Chronicles. Chicken Coop Chronicles. Chicken Coop Chronicles. Chicken Coop Chronicles here again. I just picked them all up, put them back inside. Wasn't able to show you that because I needed both hands, but managed to pick up five in one scoop. They're that tiny. And counted them all. So there's a total of still 11, which is really good. It's really easy to lose little chicks like this. There's all sorts of ways that they can die from getting sick, getting stepped on, getting eaten. That's why I'm being really careful with them. But they're just really, oh, look at that, just going after that fly. There's really not enough flies in here, That's the way it is set up. But, uh, hey, you're such a good girl. Minnie's such a good mama. Look at that proud mama with her 11 chicks. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I know I probably should list these guys. As in, I have way too many chicks, and I don't want this many chickens. I mean, my flock with this increases to 21. And that's a fair bit more than I was really wanting. Uh, of course, some of them are going to be roosters. Let's assume a 50-50 split, so that's about five or six roosters right here. But um, could go the other way. I could have all roosters. I could have no roosters. I should probably list them and offer them. Oh, oh, oh. did she get it? She got it. She got, it. She, she got something. She gave it to them. Do you see that? Yes. But I haven't been able to list them yet. And we'll see if I even get to that. I definitely can't give them away this young. I mean, other people could raise them, but she went through a lot of trouble to get them. And giving them away this young, would, you know, I don't know. I feel like she knows where they all are. And she'll miss, she'll know when she misses them. I want to make sure, you know, I get, I get the, the best uh, pick of the crop. I want all the ladies, of course. 
roosters I'm happy to give away, or I might take them, you know, might grow them up and take them over to the slaughterhouse. Um, if there are any roosters that are particularly friendly from this lot, and big, bigger than Phantom, who's my current rooster, I might exchange Phantom for that, because that's how you get nice, well-behaved roosters. You breed them in the friendly line. Phantom's respectful. His dad, Gubby, was... Well, actually, Gubby wasn't his direct dad. But the rooster that I had before Phantom was very, very nice. Uh, very respectful to humans, and a good protector. Phantom is not such a good protector, so... I will need to keep looking out. Phantom does have a little more attitude, but he's definitely more scared of humans than my Gubby was. Anywho, that's it. That's how the chicks are doing noonday. Chicken Coop Chronicles.